super buff. Dang, you're gonna hit me with the immediate yeah. question, huh? Yeah. Okay, well, if my stats, uh, will think Kaku, anything, I think you don't want You would want Kaku to lose, dude. As the victor here in regards to the matchup, you know, or you want Kaku to win. For the better, for a better, for a better show, you want Kaku to lose. So we get to see Kaku versus Punk. So I am inclined to believe that Angry Bird might have the edge. I think currently, like, at least on start, he has the edge. Seeing the way Angry Bird dismantled DCQ earlier, like, made it even stronger because we see how well he handles the JP matchup. But it feels like there is the Kaku resurgence right now, right? As you said, he lost twice to the Bow, but guess what? He beat the Bow. You guys, you chat are so weird. Fucking hate bracket. JP, but root for JP. Right here. What the fuck? In the best of positions, he defeated Mena RD earlier, and this is for a spot in Grand Finals. And let me tell you, Vicious, seeing Punk. Punk's form right now, I would not want to go to losers final right now. No, Let no, me get no, to grand no, no, finals. No, no. So at least if I happen to meet him, I have one set of margin for him to get tired because this guy looks a bit too good right Man, now. Man, he's got plot armor when he goes down to losers bracket. The fact that he activated in that part of the bracket makes me fear for the lives of whoever falls short in this matchup. Now talking about a little bit, right? Kakadu fell a little bit short. I think him watching the DCQ matchup might have given him a few ideas as to what Angry Bird wants to do. But at the same time, man, this is the upper echelon of gameplay. This is the premier fighting style of JP and Ken. Will it actually <coughs> matter in the long run? We're going to find out momentarily. Here we go. That's the best. That's the best. This time it is JP versus Ken. We have seen this matchup quite a lot this weekend or last week. But this time it is the winner's final. There's no USA here though. Kakeru that he's taking his this time match? to get go right. Not close what do you mean like he's later? Trying to see. Is Angry Bird about these dry brushes or is he patient right now? Not flinching against the initial this matchup is so interesting. Even though I've seen this matchup the most out of any other matchup, it's Ken versus JP. Oh my god, he's so ready! Oh my god, this this match has changed. Set up the departure. He has to Yo, this is gonna be insane. Perry stuck at the corner. The faint again from Kakadu. And we're trying to uh, get Angry Bird to take the wrong initiative there. Trying to faint. That's a good party, but the oh, yeah, Asia is gonna be baited. And Angry Bird. He's the one with the momentum now. The fist was in the beard, Damascus. That guy had it planned out since what? Beginning of the round? Oh. Landed on it! What a conversion! Oh. Oldie Dragon Last! Oh. Oldie Jinrai oh. into the actual Jinrai of Tails before the Shifu Jinrai Cup being able to finish it out. An expensive round, but absolutely worth it. Bro, this man is so optimal from any hits. Up to now! From from any guys, by the way, look at the corner carry. This character's pretty good, if you ask me. I love this. I love this. But watch out for right? Good challenge right now. He's gonna spread some space between him and Angry Birds. Replenish that right gauge. Oh, Take no. his time. Oh my god, he canceled. He didn't believe. A significant error from Kakadu. He did have the jump in while the departure was set up. He could have had more damage, but either way, manages to salvage the situation while in burnout. Doesn't even matter. Yeah, he's I respect that. his level three of his own just to seal the deal. Now we're talking about the resources going into the next round. Uh, we've seen what happened to DCQ when he tried to save some meter against Angry Bird. He got destroyed by Big Angry Bird comeback. Kakadu. I've never seen a comeback happen and also be put up on social media as fast <laughs> ever. The one but. frame uploads get these engagements. Angry Bird now trying to keep his opponent in the corner. They're playing the fireball game, but for now Kakiru is playing slow and methodical. And I love him buffering the crouch animation from JP to kind of make Angry Bird think the spike is coming. Oh, the big punish counter against the attempted parry from Kakiru. Fierce to face. Blocked successfully, Kakadu. He's getting a lot of damage on his drive gauge. It's Angry Bird. He's slowly. Yeah, he's gonna give up the position. He doesn't want to for a walk. <laughs> they went for a walk real quick around training stage. They haven't seen this one for a while, right? The counting blocks is what it is. <laughs> I know what you guys are up to. You guys are counting the lines there. You're counting the blocks. Oh. Trying to find the right moment to go through, and that's Oh man, that the parry point. there. The oh Angry man, it's close. Now he's we need to see something tight here. He was waiting for something. Kakadu just sitting there and blocking. Angry Bird was trying to fish with that standing heavy punch. Heavy punch yet again, but he is in burnout. Doesn't mean he's not going to be the threat. He does have level 3 loaded. A single touch from Ken can lead to the victory. Kakadu needs to play it straight. What is that sound? I believe he's still alive, Vicious. Yeah. Am I lying? It's alive. Am I caught lying live? I 
Yeah, it's alive. Can you run up DP for Chip though? But it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't dead. matter. It doesn't matter at all. He tried to find an escape, but that was pretty much checkmate in this situation regardless. Angry Birds takes game number one, but this is a much more disputed set than it was against DCQ earlier. And you can expect Kakeru to adapt to his opponent and bring it back. I need to pee. I mean, for now, right? That's only Shit. one. We'll see whether or not Second. Angry Bird has it in him to repeat the results he had with DCQ, or will Kakeru find the right moves and maybe the right strategy to adapt to, Big Bird, or to uh, Angry Bird, excuse me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you can see immediately Kakeru starts oh, being on the offense. Are you kidding me? That was, that was, that was kind of dirty. What, low four and run into overhead? Come on, man. Yes, sir. All right, to the corner we go, of course. It is can into the corner at any time. And it's time for the throw loops right oh. now, but he was a bit scared to do with the amnesia. This is a much faster, more explosive angry bird going into it. Are we going to get the throw? No, he's still fishing with the fierce and Kakadu. Knew the timing, knew that it wasn't going to be plus enough. He did get a counter hit against angry bird. Trying to swing right back at him, but slowly trying to get it. Oh my the way. god! He stopped it before it was active. The drive rush, medium kick, target combo, angry bird, another round on the board. He is ridiculous. And you could see where Kakeru tried to be on the offense on the first second, but angry bird was like, no, 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 I'm the one leading the pace right now. You're the one following. Kakiru once again back to the corner. Ooh. Oh, dear. Oh, we're going for Jin Rice. We're going for Jin Rice. Up we're going now. for the optimals. And we kill. This man is too good and goes for the, 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 the maximum damage. Angry Bird with a speedrun of a game number two. Chase. All right, all right. Setting the pace. The crowd loves it. That's two to zero. Kakiru needs to take some time to adjust, but he's slowly running out of time. He said Kakeru got a lot of Ken to face this weekend. He beat a couple <laughs> yeah. of them. But damn, and you can't see the smile. Like, all right, Word? all right, thank you, bird. You're kind of nice at this game. What's the plan now? Built a little different, right? He went, now he has to subscribe to the YouTube channel by default, right? He has to do his home. He has to do the homework even proper. Oh, absolutely. Like and subscribe. Yeah. And you can see that smile in that car. He's fighting right? all these content creators all week, man. I like that. He's, he's enjoying that. his time still, you know, despite how difficult of a set it's been. It's a good challenge for any player, you know, to play against someone that good. And look at this, Angry Bird has no time. Man, we're taking a big switch up between how Angry Bird appro approached the matchup initially. Like, game one, he was letting Kakadu kind of walk him down, kind of figure out what the projectiles were going to be like. And Kakadu was thinking to himself, how do I trap this man in the corner? Then immediately game two, it's been nothing but offense from Angry Bird. Well, looks like I was right. right. He's seeing that he got the momentum, he's trying to not let Kakadu get any kind of comfortable situation right Time to now. drink some Red Bull. Angry Bird smelling blood. So dangerous for Angry Bird. Looks like I was right. Just gonna move it closer off that jump back roundhouse, but it does get the whip punish off of the completion of the Jin right. It will completely whip. You know, Angry Bird might have been fishing for maybe a normal to kind of counter poke against with that. Oh, footsies! Uh, nice, and that's. But Kakeru shows he's also one of the most optimal players on earth, and this round is very important for him to build some confidence. Same place with this fall from, uh, from Kakadu, being able to whiff punish. I love that still. The crouch medium much intention of the one step kick. I love seeing the constant change of pace, Bishus. It goes from super offensive to super waiting to looking at each other like this. Been 20 years doing nothing. What the fuck? Why are you doing that? Really looking to annoy the Mind you, I have a, I have a ready. I'm, I got my retweet ready to go. I'm just waiting for Angry Bird to win the whole thing. You spent so much resources and time walking your opponent down only for him to get one opening into a Dragon Lash combo for the side switch, and now it's gonna be Angry Bird. Are you gonna set up? Oh, that was a jump low. Yeah, no jump away from her. Kakiru Angry Bird's way too ready for this one, and he's just gonna wait a bit. Oh, the overhead. Angry Bird, I need you to close this right now. We need that 3 0. What are we doing? He was ready with the wrong option, Vicious. He was parried that you did in this situation. Kakeru didn't realize he was too low on life and read this. It is match point for Angry Birds for him to go and grind for the winner side and we open with a strong puncher. It's crazy because sometimes your muscle memory will betray you. You think to yourself, I have enough to DI, but no, man. Yeah. The only one who successfully Do it. against that was DC Kulix with the parries. Yeah. Three times in the right way. It's very important to, to notice your life and be like, okay, from now on, 
no more DI. It's parry. Yes. Right? Because you can't react on the spot. You can't see the DI and see your life. At wow. The same time. At the moment, though, Kakeru putting Angry Bird in the corner, but Angry Bird. Oh, oh my god, the choices. The choices. Do you see that? How can you escape this? Fucked already. Oh, the interruption. Damn, Kakeru was ready for him. That's the butcher. He's coming in again. Oh, was he ready? A couple fireballs, blocking the Jinra, of course, he's still blocking. We're almost back on the drone game! No way! He got the stun and he got hit! And that was literally the last available frame for him to hit that DI. Ladies and gentlemen, Angry Bird will go to Grand Finals winners in such a dominant fashion. Minimum of how much is he going to get? 200k despite whatever outcome may be, but he just might be the favorite considering he is now on the winner's side of Grand Finals. Ladies and gentlemen, that was too intense to call. Now we have whew, Kakadu versus Punk. That's the evil Punk champ, bro. Afterwards? And then someone needs to win two sets in a row against Angry Bird. And, and this is the best case this. scenario. This is looking long for man. I don't know. But let's throw it to Rob. The best case scenario. For the interview. Because now. Angry Bird, in your home region, you have officially qualified for Grand Finals winner side. What is going through your mind right now? This ain't shit. To be honest, nothing's going through my mind. I just yep. want to play. Exactly. I just want to play the game. It's too, it's too, it's too locked in. The job is not finished. It's just in winners. It's just in grand finals. What the fuck? At Evo, you actually just did this. Job's not finished. You made your way all the way to grand finals winner side. That meant coming into this, everyone was looking at you. Everyone put the pressure on your back, and all of your opponents studied your matches surely and wanted to make sure they could beat you, but they could not do it. What do you think is to blame for this level of consistency? 100%. He's not thinking, thinking about any of that. Now. You are currently at your yeah, yeah, he, so far. You have to stay. Uh, as I said in my interview, the flow stays. Uh, don't be afraid of losing. What, what happens if you lose? Nothing is going to gonna, uh, gonna attend millions of tournaments later on, so... Just play your best if you lose on to the next tournament. Doesn't matter if you lose. So I play without the fear of losing. So maybe that's why I'm I'm playing at my highest level. It's because I'm not afraid to lose. Well, this is the best case scenario for Punk because Kakru just got 3 0 So that guy is mentally sham. Like, his mind is just in shambles right now. So, you might not see the best Kakru against Punk. IRS! It has no control over this. Um, John, I've seen pictures of you and Adele as kids, the IRS. Uh, pretty much kids, you know, early teenagers going to your first tournaments. They only have IRS on bunk. Um, at that time, no one, of course, knew, the fuck? knew of you. Um, this type of thing didn't even really exist in the scene. And there were other players that were a top at that time. Could you imagine uh, back then? Big Bird ain't paying no fucking anger, but don't pay no IRS. That jersey on and just securing a minimum of two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, I've never believed in this, to be honest. But uh, if you believe in Allah, you would know Allah can cause everything to happen. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Yeah. You can literally ask them, I want to get paid through this. They'll make that shit happen. There was a female in the crowd. I just saw one. The tagline of this tournament has been the land of heroes. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see from the response from this Saudi Arabia crowd, and of course everyone watching at home who are fans of Angie Bird as well, 
Angry Bird is exactly that, living up to his name, the Evo champion, and now the Gamers 8 grand finalist at minimum, Angry Bird. Phenomenal performance, and good luck to you in grand finals. Ladies and gentlemen, we have more Street Fighter action coming at you after this. Let's head over to the studio. We need another break. Another break. Go to the studio. More break. Get, get, can't distract him. He's, he's too focused. He says he plays this way because he doesn't have the fear of losing. He plays this way because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who he deeply believes in. Guys, when I saw this guy do three drive impacts in a row against DCQ in the corner. I was thinking, what is up with this guy's attitude? Suddenly, in that every pro was invited here. It all made sense, didn't it, Rich? Uh, absolutely, man. I want to take some time. The timing right? was just bad. It's right after Evo. He is fearless of losing, right? He doesn't have that fear. And that's something that two out of our three finalists here have highlighted, right? Punk also had that same sentiment. He said, I played in all our tournaments at this point. I've lost oh my God, that was so I'm optimal. Holy shit, dude. That fear that dwells within people, that is gone for them. And you can see how it exemplifies their play it is amazing to watch and then the interesting thing about that is please be understand and make the distinction between it's okay to be upset you know what we do yeah, that's what you get to do like this absolutely there is a clear distinction there these guys do get a bit upset they do get a bit salty but then they come back they bounce back and they come back with flying colors it's great to see this stuff you know what i really gotta give credit to angry birds you know judgment on ex yeah a lot of trolls see that's what you gotta do dino the time is gonna come out we have way more that's how you gotta do it again like we said before attacking the drive gauge and really maximizing that we did see kaku show signs of life as well well there you go that was a big approach can't be a scam you know what i'm saying this is not the first tournament they did for esports they did so many a lot of these decisions they don't seem like they make sense, but they seem to be the right one every single time. And it's just wild to watch. And honestly, I'm a big fan of Kakuru myself. I love Kakuru. I, I love the way he carries himself, everything. But honestly, I really want to see this punk Angry Bird grand I've got to be honest, I was literally about to say the same thing, Rinch. Like, bro. Like, I do not want to disregard what I actually, this guy has been. And I actually would love the fact he credited a lot for of punk tech to, a to, yeah, uh, to, to get through Kakuru so we can have a punk versus Angry Bird right match, dude. The way punk is playing right now. Literally, Could you imagine that grand finals. Although we're guaranteed to be entertained because if punk, if, sure. if, if Kakuru is able to beat Punk, the level he's going to need to play yeah. to, you can expect a totally different Kakuru grand finals. Kakuru's about to get Absolutely. cooked. Yeah, I just when they're both so right, I'm like, who's more right? I need to know, man. I oh, need man. to see that grand finals. But yeah, Kakuru in the same instance. I love that you bring up Blake's blue thing because it highlights uh, that guy's definitely like cooked, man. Previously, which is There's no way. That the best player of the character is not the same person developing the wildest tech for the character. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That happens a lot. And a yes, lot of the time, yes. they have those lab monsters in the back. There's no way. The tech, and they have the capabilities to use that implement. at the highest level. This exactly. Very the thing, application and knowledge goes a long way. Now, obviously, the lab monsters, they get the idea. They create it. They innovate it. But they don't quite know how to put it out there and use it in a practical sense. The players go, oh, is that what you want me to do? Yeah. No problem. Gotcha. No problem. I, already know, I already know how the mind that. works. I've got to give credit as well, again, to Angry Bird. I think he's definitely studied. There's different scenarios you study in fighting games. You study your offense first. And you work on defense about two, three years down the line when you figure out how to block. And then after that, there's a new layer in Street Fighter 6. He's figured out how to fight and burn out. And I guarantee you, he watches his, <laughs> I, I, I guarantee he watched his replays when he's in 10 seconds in burnout or however. He's like, right, what is the situation? How do I come out on top? And I, I really feel unlucky for Kakuru because in that yeah. situation where he done the driving back got stunned, I think he was banking on the gauge just coming back, so he hit parry last minute yeah. to see if he could stop the impact. But it was checkmate because uh, he knew it wasn't going to see. He knew it wasn't going to see it. It was just genius play from Angry Bird. He's so good at checkmaking it, checkmaking his opponents, and knowing they're dead before they do. <laughs> his assessment of their gauge and their, it's just Crazy. ridiculous. We have to go to a break, guys. I know you want to keep going back to back to back, but we've got to shout out to people that are making this possible. STC, for example. So we'll be back in just a few moments. Coming up next, losers freaking finals. Oh my goodness. This will always this will always be invitational. Every, seriously, every single pro was invited for this. Progress is a race. Okay, but think about it. 
after I know that people say, oh, it's like there's money, like you should just go. This is the reason why most players, like Takedo, most other players, pros, that I'm not gonna mention who, but it's because some of them took a lot of days off already before to train for EVO, and this was the last minute invitational for some players just to give a yes or no and some people canceled so after evo monday you're in vegas you're gonna leave monday and then you're gonna fly straight to your where whatever country your you know your home is and then you land there on a wednesday because it's gonna be two days or a day and a half to travel right the time change and then you're gonna fly immediately to saudi arabia and they're gonna stay there from like Wednesday night to Thursday all the way until Sunday. And some people they got some responsibilities or some things that they had to do. That's why. This is the way it is. And so that's why you have some other players that are new there that never been to any big invitation or any tournament. That's what's that's there. Because they're the sub. No disrespect. Here. No disrespect. But, look. Yeah. Yeah, look. Otani. Latif is 100% gonna get invited. He's from there. They're gonna invite their own. Even though he doesn't play Street Fighter, they get this there, 100%. Wes, they're gonna invite their own. Just know that, okay? Like, you know, this is it. Like, you know, okay. This for sure, okay? This for sure, okay? This, not sure. No, no chance, okay? Nope. There's a few here, like the second picks. I don't even wanna talk about group D. They literally got one person, uh, like, true invite there, okay? All right, but I'm saying, I'm not saying the others are not deserving, I'm just saying, I'm just highlighting the amount of players that that said no, or if it's last minute, it's a bad timing, okay? All right, here, number E. It's clearly, three people are legit that's gonna be invited for sure, right? Group F. You can argue all of them. Even though VX Val is not as known, but he slipped the little cracks, you know? Even though he's very good. DCQ, Old King. Maybe Edge Walk, I mean Ending Walker, right? Okay. I know that. H. In H, there's only two that was gonna get invited there for sure. Right? I, we don't have to highlight who. For sure, two. That's like 12 players. Despite some of them are being world class or very good. Just give me the mic, and then there were three. Yes, Guys, straight. It's been quite a ride these last four days. A fucking hard trip, let me tell you. I mean, players are playing and some players got jobs, planned things to do. They have to do that shit last minute. Last minute. see a man possessed in punk absolutely obliterating the competition in Big Bird, now going up against Kakaru, who has been ever consistent, there in pretty much every top eight that matters, what a huge yeah. match this is, 100%. So a massive shout out to everyone that was here and supporting, I now have uh, my homie, Brad M, and of course, Tyrant, to talk us through this match. Today. Yo, Dinosu, you said that, that you were tired 9 o'clock, now it's 11, so it's been two hours later, so I'm sorry I was wrong. Uh, yeah, so look, what I was going to say, right, there's a lot of things I don't believe in. I don't believe in trickle-down economics. I don't believe in the fourth wall. I'm wearing makeup. I'm standing on a box. None of this is real. Punk is looking more like the alpha this weekend than I have ever seen him be. I believe in Punk more than I probably ever have. Who is this guy? It looks like he knows what he's talking about. I've never seen him in any fighting game event. But then I saw Angry Bird dismantle Kakaru Tyrant. Like, the way that he handled Kakaru, bro, like... No, not F word. That, kind of that guy in the middle, not this guy. Yeah, we saw such, such a good 
stuff with VXPAL uh, versus Kakaru in the in the, the group stages. Angry Bird just took it to another level. It was another like, level. Like, uh, bro, like, this guy is playing like a map possessed. Keep I'm asking, have you seen him in any other fighting game event? Right there, and he's definitely looking like he's going to be the favorite to take it here. There you go. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's the point. Yeah. He looks like he knows what he's talking about, so I like that. Kakaru but is at his normal standard level, which is also phenomenal. He's gonna need to raise it, I feel, in order to stop Punk right now. Right, that's what I was about to say. You know, we're talking about the losers finals right now. We're going into a match between Punk and Kakaru, but the three of us on the stand are already talking. And he looks like he's banned from the playground. For Kakaru, right? As dominant of a performance as he has been having for a lot of this week, he's looking really strong. But the versions of Angry Bird and Punk that have showed up to play are the peakest. Of like, you know, when you want to play some fighting games, you know? With other people, I don't think he's allowed there. That's all. You know, personal difficult matchup for him. Yeah. It feels like I feel like that's just sort of that, that's the glass ceiling broken, and now the sky's the limit for Punk. Agreed. And, and banishing demons is a huge part of winning events of this magnitude. I said the same thing when Luffy won Evo, when Problem won Evo, when these when these matches, these tournaments that you're not able to get past this particular demon guy mm. to have banished that. Is the is the host content creator there? Player stuff. That's, that's, I mean, Luffy couldn't beat Takedo and yeah. Dido for like. Six years. I remember. I remember. <laughs> and he finally beat beat these Akumas and was able to win Eva. <laughs> to do that already just goes to show the level. Michael's doing everything else. He has. I think in his he can't do everything I else. See him being stopped like in his head. I, I, I can't see him imagining a possibility of losing. Whereas with Angry Bird, he gathers his strength, Brad, from the idea that he doesn't care, but he accepts that he can actually lose, and it's all in God's hands. I mean, those are two very different mentalities to have going into this. What I think is fascinating about Angry Bird's approach is I think when you remove from yourself any of the, what the fuck is this? Uh, baggage that you might have towards the game, what you've done is you've freed yourself of the psychological element and you can operate just in terms of decision making and for some of the super clutch rounds that we have been seeing from angry bird even the clutch factor that was required just for him to get out of the group stage if you play with fear you do not have what it takes to make the high risk but high reward decisions that angry bird has been making also the level of concentration it requires to to be as focused as he is on his opponent's gauge his opponent's meter i mean the way he landed the ex fireball drive rust in like it drive impact yeah he, as soon as the fireball yeah. hit he knew if you don't see a hair you're dead mm. i mean it's, it's ridiculous tyrant so hard to deal with honestly like when angry bird is on form he, he, i don't know you can't beat this guy honestly well, we're going to find out exactly what form he's in after this match because it's down to Kakaru now to stop the force of these young... I mean, they're all young players, right? I mean, right. this is the new era in three, two, one. Yalla Habibi! $100,000. And it is because they had to fight through everything, through fire and blood. Oh, really? What's Kaz a bunch? He look, he, I swear, he does look like he knows what he's doing. I swear. But what I'm saying, like, I do not know what Kaz a bunch is as well. He does, that's what I'm saying. He looks like he knows what he's talking about. But I do not know what Kaz a bunch is. Oh, shit. No wonder. $100 a price for the top three. There you go, Eli Joe. Nice name drop. How come it doesn't look like Brad? Stop! Did he always had a beard? Oh shit! Twitter and everything, or, or, or whatever it's called now, and the Twitch chats. They say, Oh, Rob always looks at uh, Atik while he's talking as if he knows what he's saying. But I think it's because you actually, I'm like, Man, he remind me of someone. And I'm realizing, I think it's Will Smith. You look kind of like Will Smith to me, like the, the fresh prince of Saudi Arabia. This, that's the vibes that you give me. Well, yeah, uh, maybe a little bit, but with a uh, uh, Rashid cosplayer, maybe. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. I thought he was. Yo, I, I thought Atik was gonna say, Yeah, 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 I'm really a prince. Like, you know when he said you look like a fresh prince of Saudi Arabia? I really thought he was gonna say, Yeah, 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 I'm really a prince. I really thought he was gonna pop up and say that shit. Yeah, I'm a prince. That would have been the greatest shit ever.
Like, but seriously, if he would have said that, we would all believe it too. Because, like, those people, like, that in that level, they're like, I want to be this. Okay, we just got to do that. Um, that, I want a whole entire esports shit. Okay? Here, just get it. Here. Here's a quick Billy. That's it. Supporting his training partner, Kakadu. At this point, we've seen Kakadu smiling all throughout this event. And please do, do not let that make you forget the fact that he has fangs when it comes to his in game performance. Exactly. Like he, he never, the, the smile never leaves his face. He always is smiling no matter what happened to him. Yo. Okay, guys, I'm gonna tell you guys uh, inside scoop. These two have played each other already at EVO, guys. I don't know if you guys saw it. But he, Punk lost to him four straight rounds. Takaru beat Punk, Nakodu, and Sonic Fox in a 3v3. And he beat Nakodu and Punk four straight rounds. Each. JP. And the top JPs in the world do not lose to Kamis. It's so weird. And they don't think it's a bad match. This guy's best buddy, um, Kakaru, is a is a Kami player. Okay, but that was like during Evo weekend. I'm just saying, Pop is playing different right now, and I want Punk to win because I want to see Punk versus Angry Bird. But this is a hard one. We hope so, but Kakaro is really good. It's really good against Kami. Hey, Punk, I ain't gonna lie to you. Kakaro looking at you kind of serious right now. You see that? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Give you a different type of energy right now. I heard her smile a little bit. Okay, Kakaro might have got to serious mode. This might be that part of the boss battle where, uh, you know, he goes to his second cutscene. We about to see what's gonna go down. Punk the God, Kakaro. Please meet right here in the middle. This is the losers finals of Gamers Eight. These players have already guaranteed themselves. Post mana clarity, Punk. <laughs> Okay, Punk lost to who at Evo? Lost to Mena, right? Then lost to Angry Bird, correct? Both 3 2. Very close. So that means Punk can definitely beat Angry Bird because it's 3 2, right? Okay. Can. I don't think he will. But this is the matchup that is interesting. Uh, the coin guy just been winning. Bro, I'm telling you this right now. Who knows if this coin guy is one of the nephews of the the, the Sultan Oil Oil God. Then one of the nephews. Who knows? You can't be judging people. You know what I mean? Who knows? What if this is his passion? They just had to include it. What if he's so passionate of flipping coins? What if he's really a professional coin flipper? Yeah. We don't know. Shit, I feel bad. I didn't know that was Brad, bro. Damn. He looks different. I'm going Kazunoko, Akira, what's that, a Mizui, a Mizuha or something? That's four. That's a lot, plus his boy, five.
Yeah, I want to see how this one goes. Of course, I mean, I feel like this matchup, we've talked about it before. Lots of people were like, yeah, but you know, JP has a lot of problems against, against Kami. Yeah! Mago! Because we're about to see like some of the very best with each character on the planet. But well, one of the things you'll notice about uh, Kakaru playing this matchup, he's going to use a lot of the faster uh, normals that uh, JP. Has. I watch the shit. I think I think Kakaru wins this, but obviously Punk is playing out of his mind. So, but I think Kakaru wins this. I wouldn't be surprised if Punk wins that far, but I just think that it's one of those bets that I would never make. This is a bad bet. Because I could easily find an easy bet. This is not a good bet. Oh boy. Yeah, I love showing that as an option very early on in the set as well. Definitely makes him aware of that. Let's see, son. As you said, it's so good to get some out of the corner. There he does get punished, countered by the dive kick. That's the big risk of using some of those slower normals to try and control that mid range. It's one of the risks that he faces, and of course, Punk can gladly take advantage of that if he gets the hit. Another punish counter, another big conversion, and we're in the corner. Okay. Okay. I think Punk is back at being. The executive chef, bro. He about he all about cooking. Charges and I don't think that's gonna do the job. Was just on the three bar one pixel. Yeah, it's done. Starting to get it, mate. Safe on the spiral arrow. In burnout makes it plus. Macho or no macho, man. We've seen all about that. Yeah, like he challenged and got counter hit, but that's one game to punt the momentum certainly. In his favor, as I said, we haven't seen Kakaru go up against a world class Kami in this matchup, but it was speculated that this is one of JP's worst. We'll see, it will take a whole punk at the moment. Yep, and as always, the question of how much experience do you mention it earlier? How many times he played a Kami of that level so far? Perk is absolutely smothering him in the corner. Kakaru looking for the normals to press, but can't we do much? I've been wanting to stay for a long time, bro. We've been live for a hot second. <laughs> That's super. Do you tech there? Done, chip. The resources, the state. This time it's Kakiru. Beautiful conversion. The manual is not that portal. Love to see it. Yeah, the train gets red from the departure. In time, JP gets hit. Those portals are gone. That crash, medium punch sticking out. It's all hitbox, no hurtbox. Is the round? trying to adapt to opponents get better in the matchup. We are back to neutral. Kakiru taking no risk. Punk is happy to walk him to the corner. Poking, yeah, and Punk immediately takes to the skies as soon as he notices that Kakaru is using those slightly slower medium buttons. More susceptible. Starts taking to the skies. Catches him trying to walk back though. And we're in the corner. Go loop time. No button pressed. Remember that uh, with three bars on Punk's side, you can't really jump back from Kakaru because the level 3 interaction could happen anytime. Punk will jump in, but then he has more pressure. Kakaru holding it for now. Punish. All right. Okay. That's the worst. Yeah, then he goes more than the one. He's got two drive for a cross cancel if he needs 
it one. It's a good. There you go. And that's CA as well. That should be enough. So is it? Back it up, back it up, guys. We're gonna have, we're about to have the best grand finals ever. You cannot, unless you're super close. I cannot handle this anymore. I am so sleepy. It's been left for 90 hours. I thought I can handle it. I'm about to die. sick no I'm just feeling slippy because I've been streaming for 19 hours look type in uptime Mind you, I probably played like less than 50 games today. Yes, sir. The rest of I'm just talking. Kakura, I just need you to get fucking bodied right now. We need to move the fuck on. What we're gonna do? Very simple. We're gonna rest our eyes. I don't. I don't wanna. I don't wanna go to the. I don't wanna lay down in bed. You know what I'm saying? I'm becoming a little bitch. Uh, we're. I need to get up. I need to get up. Fuck. Fuck.
And he's also not able to get in range to land that crouching medium kick, which he can drive rush cancel off of as well. But now he is in close. There's the idea amnesia. Oh, he gets caught low. Yeah, Back to the start of the platform you go. Oh, and again, the drive rush. I love this, the manual triggering of the portal and now a bit more pressure for Kakeru he's looking to overhead on match points but the drive reversal from the Punk the and he checks the spin knuckle and it's somehow set point to Kakeru from 2-0 up we said that we've seen these situations before a 2-0 lead being run back and Kakeru now has set point there's the opening and he's going to get the drive rush extension puts Punk back into the corner and sets the ball catches him in the shot and it's a big life lead. The spin knuckle whiffs, and it is a huge life lead now here for Kakaru. Punk's gonna need something very special to bring it back. No, the crab fish punish counters on landing. And that, ladies and gentlemen, the big grin on Kakaru's face says it all. Somehow, from somewhere, he brought that back, and it looked hopeless at 2 0 down. Kakaru has eliminated Punk. What a fantastic change of momentum he completely switched up his style and approach in the neutral and shut the door on punk there was no way in absolutely and you can see how ecstatic he looks so happy the biggest smile on his face as he defeats punk after looking absolutely lost kakeru we move to grand finals let's throw it to rob on the stage for the interview Insurmountable odds in losers finals, a hundred thousand minimum on the line, grand finals on the line, a big crowd that's rooting for him, and he's able to get it done. Kakadu, what changed in that match from when you were down 0-2? すごい逆転でしたね。本当に。で、あの 2-0 になったらどうやってやり直って何を変わってどうやってこの勝利ができたんでしょうか。え、まあでも何ですかね。まあでもすごいあのなんか一番大会楽しめてるなっていう風に思ってあの気持ちを切り替えてあの楽しみました。Man, I don't know what to say about it, but、um, I try to like you know enjoy the the tournament to the fullest. Just you know play my game, enjoy what I'm doing, and just go for it. كاكرو بعد ما فاز في مباراة رجالنا بكلتش خرافي كان مهزوم 2-0 بعد فجأة قلبها وقدر يفوز في المباراة فسألنا أن وش اللي سويته بالضبط قال بيكون صراحة ما أدري وش اللي صار بعد كل جلسة حاول يسوي إني أنبسط في اللعبة ولا متفاجئ باللي صار أصلاً يعني هو من نفسه مرة عارف You and Angry Bird actually did a little bit of training with each other this morning. At that time, when you were training together, did you really believe that we, there was a good chance that we would end up seeing you versus Angry Bird in Grand Finals? あの朝であの Angry Bird とあの練習したんですけれども、その練習中にあの午後夜の時にこの同じ Angry Bird とあの大決勝戦でやることと信じてましたか？思ってましたか？そうですね。まあアングリーバードはエボの時にあのミナーズで負けてあのー、その因縁があるんであのー、このグランドファイナルっていう舞台でまたリベンジできるっていうすごいあの嬉しいですね。So yeah, obviously I lost to Angry Bird in the Evo in the upper bracket,、uh, you know, not that far, not that long time ago. So to be To stand, you know, in front of him once again in a grand final, I'm super, super happy that it actually happens, and I hope I can beat him. Let's say that Kakeru, that this morning, he was against Angry Bird. So this was the case. He was also expecting that they would face each other again in the final. And how did he get back again? 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 فهذه المرة إنه صحيح إنه زمن كثير لكن إنه يبغى يأخذ اللي يبغى يأخذ الثار الحين في النهايات وهذه فرصة هذه فرصة الثانية الحين اللي يقدر يقدمها وبيسوي كل اللي عليه. I want to show some love and respect to Punk the God. Can we please make some noise for Punk the God as well? 
a simply amazing performance for him. Congratulations to him for getting third place and walking out with $100,000. Phenomenal performance. But that being said, the man that just made it in the grand finals is one who has walked through this tournament with a smile on his face, but shown his fangs when it came to the end game. When it comes to actually throwing down when everything matters most, he is able to get it done. Now we're going to see if he can do it again in grand finals against Angry Bird, the home region hero. Ladies and gentlemen, we have grand finals up next, but first, we're going to send it over to the studio. أعزائنا المشاهدين الحين باقي لنا مباراة واحدة بس مباراة الجراند فاينل زي ما شفنا قبل شوية بانك هو المركز الثالث المباراة الأخيرة اللي راح تحدد بها البطل كلكم مستنين هذه اللحظة فخلونا نروح للاستوديو نحلل باقي المباريات ونجهز مباراتنا النهائية ونرجع لكم فيها جاياو جاياو جاز كيميلي ماك We are back baby did you see what I saw Did you see what I saw? Wait, 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 hold on a second. An unstoppable punk. An incredible force playing as good as we've seen since that Evo, in incredible Evo run. 2-0 up in no time. We're there talking about Angry Birds and how that's gonna go. Kakaru had other plans, didn't he? Talk to me, Brad. Yeah, so uh, I made a skeptic again. I forgot for a moment that Alpha Beta Theory has been disproven. So skeptic once again. <laughs> uh, punk has None this of real, man. None of it's real. Punk has this habit. And Tyrant, you and I were talking about this during the set against Mena earlier. Punk has had a history of performing incredibly well and looking super dominant in these high stakes stages. And then at some point in that top three, top four area, something just kind of cracks. And it pains me to watch it because it's like he's been a bridesmaid and not a bride for so much of his career. I keep waiting for that big win. I was really hopeful that this was going to be the one. But I think you guys were talking about it before, and I'll let you elaborate more, Tyrant. He seemed like he got a little bit antsy as he saw exactly how close he was. I mean, yeah. Tyrant, I want to ask you a question based on what Brad just said. Was it more punk cracking? Because that doesn't usually happen mid-set, Brad. He was still the same punk at the start of the set. Are we not giving Kakaru enough credit here? Oh, absolutely. I mean, Kakaru changed up his game plan so effectively. Like like you said, Brad, as well. Punk maybe getting a bit too eager as well as that set went on, really trying to close things out when he smelt victory. But Kakaru, I feel like he was being a bit more patient. He was walking back a lot more. We saw a lot of dive, dive kicks getting whiff punished. He realized Punk was taken to the skies a lot more with Kami. And those, uh, those whiff punishes were on point. The heavy punch into the tings, it was big damage. And yeah, you could just see... And he was ready for the jumps as well, every time, jumping back and just checking it. No, I agree. I think he inched his way back to a slightly farther out yeah, space. We saw even Look. some utilization, maybe it'll be in the clip, utilization of down forward oh, hard punch at one wow. point to catch that Punk works. walking back in rages where Punk was trying to play footsies. And I think he just didn't acclimate his game plan around how, how Kakaru had made his own updates. Yeah, I think um, that's, that's spot on. The shout out. <laughs> look at, look at Kudo, uh, Kudo <laughs> in the crowd, rocking the flag. And, and he's also won the hearts of the local Saudi Arabian people here. The crowd absolutely loving Kakaru and everything he's doing. So that sets us up for a final of the ages. It's going to be a run back. It's going to be a replay. It's going to be Kakaru loser side versus Angry Bird winner side for what is essentially a 200k difference in your prize pool money. Massive shout out to Punk, he walks away with I believe 100k, 100K yes. at the end of this. Phenomenal performance. That form that he tapped into, he just needs to find a way to maintain it when his opponent is playing that good. Because the last game was not the Punk that was playing the games before that. He became no. very impatient, very frustrated and just kind of like was blocking with his face. That's not how Punk plays. He needs to go back and figure out how to maintain that mentality in future, I'd say, guys. Yeah, you know what it is? He's figuring out Ultra Instinct, but he hasn't mastered it yet. This is Imperfect <laughs> Ultra Instinct <laughs> Punk, for those of you who are fans of uh, Sign. Dragon Ball. Sign UI. Yeah, we're, we're just not that. quite at the right version. Once we tap into that, Punk is going to be an absolute force. And that's not to say, like, it feels like we're speaking ill of him. It's He's been a force this whole tournament. He's been I'm incredible. sure he's going to be a force for the lifespan of Street Fighter I can't see him going much further without winning a big tournament. Guys, this has been Tyrant. This has been Brad News. Really enjoyed your company. We're done. We're going to take another. Are we mm. guys out for the tournament? Yeah, yeah we finished. Yeah, shout out, my guys. Finals. Come on, come on, come on. Brilliant. Fun, Brilliant man. job, guys. See, I hey, stepped off the box. You guys are going to go to the arena? Man, I'm jealous, on, man. I'm go, jealous. Go. go and enjoy. Go and enjoy. Guys, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, Game of Eight, Street Fighter 6 2023 Grand Finals. Angry Bird representing the Middle East versus Kakaru representing Japan. It all takes place in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back to Gamers 8 Street Fighter 6 and it has hit the time that we've all been waiting for. When we started this week, we had 32 players. We had double round robin, we had many groups and it came down to that top 16. Now, after tons of battles and tons of matches and upsets and, and adaptation and recovery from players left, right and center, we finally hit the grand final stages. Only two remain and the lion's share of that $1 million prize pool to play for. Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined now by two guys I've really enjoyed working with these last four days for the last segment of our of our, of our entire Gamers 8 experience for us lot. Uh, we're going to go now and look at the match to come. Jammers and of course Ringe, talk to me. Well, oh, it is going to be the run back here between Angry Bird and Kakadu. Kakadu, I actually thought he would have mentally checked out. Would he would, would have returned the key card to the hotel? That's five straight losses. Yeah. Yeah. Five straight Thank losses. you, thank you. I said that on, on, on the stream as well. Yeah, the, but the six one not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, baby. Oh, no that's way. Crazy. When your back's against the wall, you have to turn things around. Look, it's been a, a week or like a last couple of days of highs and lows, of fluctuation of emotions. I think one of the key things for me going into this set for Kakaru is he needs to be careful with OD amnesia. Absolutely. So I just want to quickly touch. I got some intel from our Arabic commentator brethren oh, yeah. that they actually played these two, uh, Kakaru and Angry Bird, in some casuals or Angry Bird to prepare for DCQ. Yeah, they and mentioned it. Earlier, yeah, yeah, and it started with Kakaru actually winning the sets 5 1 back to back. No. Yes, 5 1 5 1. And then Angry Bird was able to take a set after that. And then you saw how winners' finals played out with a 3 0. You kidding me? So technically, right now, if you take into account the casual sets, they're kind of two and two at this tournament in and, recent and I, I mentioned at the start they played a first to ten as well just a few weeks ago, which is right, also right. nail biting into the wire. Kakaru is is extremely adaptable and highly like hyper aware of his opponent's decisions and what he loses to. I mean, yeah. he lost really badly to to Big Bird at Red Bull Kumite. Mm -hmm. They played the first to ten. He was down eight five. I believe he won that one 10 9 or 10 8 in the end and that's that 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 was just a week or two after red bull kumite i mean this guy the fact that he lost that set so badly tells me that angry bird needs to watch out correct and another example right vx bow washed that man twice in come group on, stages and what happened in the playoffs that 3-1 result yeah i think that's a great point to highlight on i mean the fact that he's able to ruminate over such a game that is so rapid requires so much mental stamina and it exerts yourself quite mentally but this is why we've got to give credit to finalists of any tournament oh yeah you have to go through a gauntlet and remember even weeklies are hitting up over to 600 entrants yeah. and people it always boils down to two just like we are seeing here at game is eight so full credit to these guys with mental stamina i'd probably go out after round two so the fact that you guys have to recollect your thoughts and then come through with this it's going to be definitely a side it's, really it's a really good point jammers even even punk the great incredible player arguably the best in the world when he's on form had to maintain that mental stamina and, and clearly kakaru and the character archetype of jp was a huge test for him because in that last game he didn't quite play the same strategy that was getting in the wins enough about kakaru though what about his opponent angry bird just looking Whoa. absolutely sensational the first time they played i mean he's got to be the favorite going into this but i don't know after that 5-1-5-1 you told me about mm, yeah, who's yeah. to say I i'll still call him the favorite right now for sure coming off that evo victory but just how does this man do it in whatever format you have right Seven thousand man tournament i got the mental endurance for that four days of a, a tournament with two days of group stages going out having to fight people that he lost to like kills you to a come back on the and line. getting the w on that and yeah more money than the street fighter has ever had on the line before and he performed at the top level time after time after time Rinch, he's grand finals win aside two weeks in a row for the two biggest Street Fighter 6 tournaments to date. That's crazy, Jamis. I mean, uh, arguably the two biggest Street Fighter tournaments to date, bro. Yeah, Straight up in the entire seriously. franchise. See, and you got to give him respect as well for just having the fact that he said, like, I just want to play the game. I, sometimes I do boil it down to the way you watch these guys just play so eloquently in the game. It's like, oh, okay, it's just another match. I want to land this combo again. I want to do this setup again. I want to interact with you and the player in this scenario again. I just feel they just like to go to the next game. So one thing I remember, I think it was Punk that was after. I think they asked Knuckle Dude. They were like, do you think about the money during the match? I feel like all of that money worrying, all that, the anxiety from that is all before, right? Yeah, Once yeah. they get in the game, this is what they do. Street Fighter is their life. All that melts away. It is about the game and them and their opponent. This and you can see that. In the words of Angry Bird himself, I just want to press buttons. And that's all that matters when it comes to the GGs. And that's exactly what they're about to do. Pressing buttons, grand finals time. One more time. Three, two, two one. one. Say it with me, guys. Yalla Habibi! And then there were two. This is the culmination of years of hard work and hustle.
hustle from players from around the world and especially the two players in grand finals at this point they are playing the biggest match of their lives up to this point this is actually the biggest match that we have ever seen in the history of street fighter and we definitely have to thank gamers 8 and saudi as a whole this is amazing and i cannot wait to see this grand finals it is going to be electric we have been waiting for this moment since the start of this tournament. أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا فيكم في نهائيات في الجراند فاينل لستريت فايتر 6 معنا في جيمرز 8 زي ما قلنا لكم قبل وشفنا أن الجوائز مليون دولار لكن باقي المركز الأول راح يأخذ 400 دولار جزء على الضمان now for the crowd in here I have to ask you a question Saudi Arabia are you ready? I think you heard me. Saudi Arabia, are you ready? This is what we do. It is time to get into grand finals. Let's bring in our first competitor. Destruction two separate times just today. It was so hard for him to get to this point. We saw him versus Mina. It seemed like he wasn't going to be able to close it out. And what does he do when it matters most? He steps up to the plate and he plays like what's on the line is on the line. Then we see him up against Punk the God. It seems like he's about to lose three to zero and not even make it to the grand finals. What does he do? He puts that smile in his back pocket for a second. He says it's time to get serious. And of course, he goes and makes it happen. Now, Cockadoo is sitting here in grand finals and is one step closer to walking away with 400 thousand dollars and also I like he want to take his revenge against uh, Angry Birds he lost against him and now he have to win against him twice to get the trophy أعزائنا المشاهدين كاكيرو رجع لنا مرة ثانية في النهائيات في الجراند فاينل تفوق فيها على منا أرضي وتفوق فيها على بانك الحين خطوة واحدة تفصل بس على الكاس لكن يحتاج فيها فوزين على البطل الحالي خلينا نشوف إذا المباراة هذه راح تكون من خلينا هل خلينا نشوف إذا كانت مباراة هذه راح تكون مباراة واحدة ولا بيصير فيها أبراك ريسيت فخلينا نشوف الموت المتنافس الثاني ونرحب فيه معنا على المسرح. How many times in life do you get to see a moment like this? Both of these players have already changed their lives, but with a win here, who knows how many of their family members' lives they can change. One thing I can guarantee, though, is that this is a monumental moment in fighting game history. This is a win for everyone who has ever picked up a fight stick, a pad, leverless, whatever it may be. They did not believe in the FGC. They said we was too small. They said we wasn't esports. But I'll tell you what, we're not esports. This is the FGC, baby. And now we're about to get in the grand finals. <laughs> Let's, play, let's take the players now in the middle. FGC! FGC! Let's have the players now in the middle. Yeah. Amjad, Kakadu, please step to the middle to face off before our grand finals. I have a question for the crowd. Actually, two of them. 
Who is your favorite? Do you believe in cock and roll? But if you think that Amjad will do it, listen to the We are about to watch the biggest street fighter match to date. What a time to be alive. What a time to be a fighting game player. We have, of course, Angry Bird representing the Middle East, the home region hero, the Evo champion. Can he repeat? Can he do one of the most impressive things that we have ever seen in fighting game history? Or will it be Kakadu coming from the land of fighting game godhood that is Japan? Ladies and gentlemen, that's enough talking. It is time to settle it on the sticks. This is Gamers 8. This is Grand بالضبط هذه هي مباراتنا على خيره رحلة كانت جدا ممتعة كل اللاعبين اللي جو معنا أبدعوا شفنا مستويات عظيمة منهم لكن هذه المباراة الأخيرة هذه هي مباراة الجراند فاينل لجيمرز إيت خلونا ننتقل على طول مع المعلقين ونبدأ فيها المباراة النهائية So this is heads and your heads. This is tails and your tails. Tails. P2? Perfect. Angry Bird chose P2. Ladies and gentlemen, it's come down to this four days of competition. 32 of the very best players from the four corners of the FGC globe. Multiple champions have descended on Riyadh, Saudi Arabia to compete for the biggest prize this community has ever seen life-changing money for both of these two players in grand finals but one of them will be walking away with four hundred thousand dollars let me tell you say that number one more time before you continue logan four hundred thousand dollars for one of these two competitors yeah. and let me tell you they're not focused on that money that oh, money no. is not even in their minds right now they just want to win without a doubt in my mind we talked about this before you know this is the land of heroes each and every one of these players definitely get to dub and rock that moniker but there can only be one champion and this is it right these two definitely have the potential to be the champion going into it though angry bird versus kakaru Angry Bird being in the winner's side of Grand Finals, obviously that gives him a very significant edge. And also being able to get some of the JPs uh, under his belt pretty significantly. Now, I'm kind of curious, does Kakadu, is he able to like ride this momentum and actually get the reset? Or does his trip end in Grand Finals land a little bit early? I mean, it's going to be a huge ask to beat Angry Bird twice in Grand <laughs> Finals, because yeah. obviously he's on the loser's side. And it's not been the best of weeks for him against these Kens. Two losses to VX Bow. A sound thrashing is all I could call it in winners' finals against Angry Bird when these two faced earlier. But we saw the comeback that he pulled against Punk. Anything can happen. Here we go. Grand finals time. We're punished straight away from Angry Bird and we set up this ranged game. Angry Bird's gonna be looking for the drive rush to try and get in that Dragon Lash as well in the mid range. Anything to get in on JP. And then that's when the fun begins. For Kakaru, it's all about these mid range conversions, getting the damage cashed in, the drive gauge burnt out and sending Ken back to full screen as they fight it out here. And we're already seeing a lot of activity from both ends. The big trade off for Angry Bird now. Oh Stopping my out God. the drive rush before it even comes out. Here comes the big damage. You could potentially eat a throw here, and that's exactly what he's looking for. Sweep to sweep both these players actually wishing the punish against each other. Back throw, and that's going to be round one for Angry Bird. Now that seemed like a much more even round than the life gauges would indicate a huge life lead from Angry Bird in that first round, but it kind of felt like they were sparring with each other. 
little bit right in comparison to how they faced off in winners finals a little bit more subtle in terms of approach but these guys are swinging from the get-go expected as in round two as well the counter it is there the full conversion sending light kick eat the fierce a little bit and i love this little bit of a trade-off but it's kakaru fighting out departure from that roundhouse and it buys kakaru a little bit of space now angry bird with the drive rush and the pressure puts it back in the corner that is super meaty Harry, but he does get caught low and he goes straight into the level three to give him both the life lead and the drive gauge advantage and of course we all know jp's win condition definitely the burnout it's gonna be a big deal for him and that is why angry yes. bird is trying to parry his way out Whoa. of danger but he's in burnout now no shot. No. the punish counter gives kakaru the second round i like the addition i like the intention but going right back into it Let's go, let's go! A beautiful the counter, counter hit, hit conversion. And I have to say, Angry Bird with Ken, his counter hit conversions are by far and away the best out of any of the Kens I've seen out Oh, he makes it run. hurt. He absolutely makes it hurt. He yeah, makes his sure he's going to spend all that bar. It's insane. It's ridiculous. Yeah, no doubt. I love the stoppage of the counter put from Kakadu. Also, a big tool in this matchup keep himself out of the corner as well the departure to kind of back him up a lot of the phantoms coming out now the spikes as well nice patience from angry bird and of course he's holding that parry as well which means he's Sweet. getting the drive gauge back oh boy foul success with the old amnesia caught angry bird grabbing sure the punish cutter was there set up for the goon squad what's the defensive options for angry bird yeah, parry one, one two, jump the rest Oh, and he croaks the drive impact. Luckily, it wasn't a punish counter, though. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. Uh -uh, doesn't matter. That was a big, big drive rush in from Angry Bird, and that does give him the first game. One third of the work done on oh the way my. to 400k. Oh, that's a great start for Kakadu. There's the dragon. The Lash, and he yeah, gets he was just gonna wait. Shot. Didn't need to overextend on defense. He was just gonna hang out and parry. Angry Bird just ran out of time with that one. No whip punish against the heavy kick, and that's gonna be great for Angry Bird now. On the assault, off of the lights, drive rush forward. What happens? Yeah, the he walks out backwards. of the plus one. So significant that micro step was everything. Yeah, and that's gonna force Angry Bird to just go for the the light string, try and catch him low, walk him back. My God, he's been so on point with these crouching medium punches. Also getting the counter hit, the punish counter at that. Full conversion. I'm liking him the way that he's adapted thus far. Again, the, the micro steps are so huge. Out there, Angry Bird gets away without getting punished. Counter the Kakru. Oh, Again. we talked about the conversion off of the driver standing medium kick, but it's still Kakadu getting the side switch set up. No, it's gonna be the throw. Oh, the uppercut. That could have been huge. Beautiful parry on the Dragon Lash, and you're going all the way back. Across the screen, he's got level three. He chooses not to use it yet. It's gonna be okay. So yes, yeah, enough bar now to. Oh! All right, that's gonna go into the level three. It's not gonna be enough. I don't think. No, it won't be enough. I'm thinking to myself, perhaps he could have ended the combo a little bit earlier to cause that burnout to happen, right? I don't think it's gonna matter too much. He put himself in the burnout, that and that's how it goes. That's unfortunate too. Like you're thinking about it, you know, if, if he could have gone into burnout a little bit earlier, but just even so, I think it was gonna be checkmate regardless. Yeah, it's very smart because clearly Angry Bird had to wake up Parry, right? Like, there's no other option for him right. there, uh, and Kakru just let him do it, and then put the projectiles out and chips him up. Man, still getting away with it. The driver is risk fierce. trying to whip punish that fierce though. Five frames active. Oh yeah, you yeah. start anything at the wrong time, you're eating that big counter hit. And we've seen it happen. Uh-uh. Juggle up, set up the departure. It allows him to move forward. Cockadoo setting up smart. Yes, yeah, sir. Another departure. Angry Bird has to reconsider. Gets a little bit of the drive gauge back. Up until this point though. Nice check. Oh! Again, he gets away with another. Long swinging. How it's many times? How many times thus far has Kakadu found the right answer against the Dragon Lash? He's getting a couple of these perfect parries, punish counter, throw again, possibly. No, it's the overhead on the Psycho Phantom. Another perfect parry, Kakadu getting in the 
timing down on these fireballs. Nearly with another parry on the Dragon Lash. Oh. Oh, definitely needs to try and change up. His patterns are starting to become a bit predictable. And Kakaru is definitely Ooh. taking advantage of it. But he has got that safety on uh, the winner's side. Carrying at least parry. Orbs. A lot of drive gauge and then fights his way out. Oh man, that trade off could have been so much worse. Andy Red does have the wise lead. To the step kick is there. Kakaru is just running into a handful of normals now. Oh, the amnesia. Can he do anything about it? Back throw. That's not oh, bad. Not bad at all if you're Angry Bird as well. Angry Bird choosing to use three bars there. Oh. Now, this is going to be a difficult situation because if Kakaru gets the hit. No, he's Walking him down, the gauge again not affected. Angry Bro, Bird he got the entire so sequence. much drive gauge back from that. <gasps> ridiculous, and he cashes out with the level three. And that was the perfect timing too. He exact he calculated the amount of chip that he was going to do to get Kakadu into burnout. And spending the level three, I totally get that. You have to do it. The carry on this character is so good. On both characters, is very good, really. Yeah, both got access to great side switch as well, should they wish. <gasps> Not doing anything out of it, I feel like. Triple dash. Set himself up, departure. Angry Bird. Oh, oh man, how often has he done that? that work so often he didn't commit to a button on landing that time. Okay. Get the level. Oh, no! fly off of the jungle! This is the first time we've ever seen Kakadu actually drop that or mistime it. Oh, Red miscalculation from Kakaru, whose conversions are normally so good, but it's still a great situation for him. He's got a huge life lead, and Angry Bird's gonna be in burnout for a while. It doesn't matter because Kakaru goes 2 1 up now. We're in it for the long run. We do want to see a reset happen just to kind of see these two Titans play a couple more games. But man, if you're Angry Bird, obviously you want to see it now. Kakaru is slowly starting to make these adjustments, and how many times has he parried that successfully? Yeah, I think, you know, the success that Angry Bird had with that as a tool to try and control that threat in the mid-range from uh, the first set definitely has put Kakaru looking out for that Dragon Lash. They had such a tight set at EVO as well. It was 3-2, so that kind of gives a better indication of how more balanced they are rather than that 3-0 wash we saw in Winners' Finals. And you're seeing that play out here now, a much more competitive set from the two of them. No, it's a valid point, right? You're starting to see a lot of that composure, a lot of the decision making that Kakadu is doing is really, really putting Angry Bird in sort of a conundrum. He hasn't figured out what to do against the bullet hell now that Kakadu is this active. Yeah, the Dragon Lash is not the answer for him. That time it whiffed and Kakadu gladly took the punish counter and closed out the set without having to spend any of those super bar resources. So he's just sitting there pretty on two and a half bars. Angry Bird fight for his life. Another punish counter is going to get thrown back into the corner and the portal comes out. And oh, another yeah! Dragon Lash is parried and he's in burnout as well. This is a horrible situation straight into the level two. What's the mix? Where's the portal going to be? Oh, wow, just backed off. Unorthodox drop, being able to throw at the last second before the DI. That could have been Stun City for Angry Bird, but luckily he moved out just in case. Ooh. Not for that, yeah, I have to respect the departure spike on the way There's out. There's the bailout, immediately invests three bars in this corner carry conversion off the low forward. A break tech from Kakaru. He gets a level two again, Logan. Side switch, set up with departure. From that far, get the juggle, drive impact again. Wow, out for the throw. not going out of burnout. Oh, oh, no. oh my god. Oh, but he, no, oh, he doesn't you again. You gotta be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Bro, Kakaru? that whole interaction was mad. Kakaru miscalculated the amount of drive gauge he would take off Angry Bird. Thought he was going to put him in burnout. Angry Bird turned the situation around. It was so scary, too, because he had a punish counter into the drive impact, which wouldn't have caused the stun. But still, either way, Kakaru looking at reset point. Departure here. Maybe close the gap, though. He wants to set one up. One more. Angry Bird towards the corner now, eating a ton of damage. And again, he's ready for the Dragon Lash. Just missing that two-frame perfect parry window. A beautiful button, and then he's just buffering oh, away with those mediums. He 
even in light as well. Not trying to overextend on offense. Or I, was, I should say defense. He's keeping it pretty active, though, against the drive rushes. He's starting to see the pattern from Andrew Bird. Getting a little antsy with the drive game. How many dragon matches thus far have been perfect be carry? It, it is. And we are going to see a reset grand finals. And what a statement. A perfect KO. A perfect parry. A perfect turnaround from Kakaru. 3 1 is the score. We're going to get a reset bracket here in Grand Finals. Take, taking a little bit of time to make sure so they prep the themselves before, here for the hats, reset. These tails and your tails. Heads. So, heads. So you choose the side. Same side? Okay, then Kakeru chose P1. A little bit of pageantry just in case they decided to change sides. You never know. Let me jump over. I can do fireballs better from player one side. But these guys <laughs> are both happy where they are. Good news for the production team. They're not going to have to change the names around in the overlays. And we're going to go straight yes. back to this reset grand finals. Of course, Kakaru was fighting out of the loose bracket. <laughs> Now, as Angry Bird has lost his first set of this elimination bracket, that means they're both in the loser side. Hey. And the winner of this three out of five set will be the champion. That's right, yeah. Yeah, we're getting there closer and closer, but let me talk to you for a little bit. It's uh, Logan Sama. What, what is the deal with Angry Bird and all of the dragon lashes that he's been coming out with? I have not seen him utilize that move this many times in a single set so the interesting thing here right is the dragon lash is the answer to um the jp continually trying to use the crouch and me do punch to stop the drive rush in you've been watching you know gamers 8 for the last couple of days you will have seen multiple kens in this matchup using drive rush at full screen and like three quarter screen to try and run through the ghost or beat the shard sure. and get in but what we haven't seen is hardly any drive rushes from Angry Bird. He's just been only going with the Dragon Lash, and that means Kakaru hasn't had to put out that crouch and medium punch. I feel like it's the contrary. Like, initially in games one and two, Angry Bird did majority of his offensive uh, situation, or startup, I should say, was drive rush. Yeah, right? Kakaru has been so active with counter poking, and now he's just trying to go through the wheel of options here. But Kakaru has been prepared for all of them thus far, off to a pretty decent start, I will say. Not a significant life speed. But want to make Angry Bird double check his approach. Yeah, you watch the buttons that Kakaru's pressing. It, you're not seeing crouch and medium punch at all. So this dragon lash to get in, look at that. Again, that that's that even better because he doesn't have to worry about getting the perfect parry. He just gets the drive impact and the combo. Oh, and again he goes for Man. it. He's just being so stubborn here in this strategy. Is it going to work for him? The range on that standing light kick is insane, by the way. I can't love that leap from that far away. Really good to see that step kick kind of act as a counter poking tool as well. But it's going to be Kakeru. Yes, sir. Spend it. Doesn't even need to. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, the Phantom even into the spike. But just in case he had to, he had the meter. But this is looking fantastic for Kakeru right now. Close to level three. Yeah, I really want to see Angry Bird start you know, representing with that drive rush a lot more. Giving Kakeru Ooh. more things to think about. Because right now, all he's thinking about is that dragon. Stagger! Stagger pressure yet again. I think he's two for two in regards to that strategy against Kakuru. That's gotta mean something, right? He's choosing defense, or sorry, movement as a defensive option. Angry Bird needs to learn how to shut that down. But again, he has to get past right here. Yeah, the canes that have been stopping him from even closing the gap. Just punish counter. <laughs> that, that was finally too far away. Oh nice. boy. Are we gonna see the amnesia? Perhaps. Yes, we are. Oh! Hey, that's fine for Angry Bird. He is able to utilize the OD. <gasps> Not like this. Kakaru, oh wow, boy. And that worked out for Angry Bird. No level two to close it out, but he's going to go into this final round with three bars instead. Same with both, yeah. Whoever lands, whoever lands the first hit, best believe you're going to expect level three, right? Yeah, representing with a lot more these drive rushes, these run and step kicks as well, the stagger on the jabs again, and he immediately cashes out with the level three. But you saw how he did it, right? He did it off of the stagger pressure yet again, a single jab, two jabs over after that. Kakeru, he's starting to get figured out what he wants to do on defense, getting a little bit antsy before the corner's there. 
I mean, we saw Kakaru in an earlier set just get opened up repeatedly by jab into short into stand jab against Mena. Right. Uh, so stubborn on defense, and I think he definitely has defensive patterns. It looks like Angry Bird has started to pick them out, but the huge damage he's going to get here off this level three is going to put him at a huge advantage. But Angry Bird's got a lot of drive gauge to work hard. with. Nice parry. He's going to get a lot of drive gauge back. He gets here, though. Beautiful delay by Kakaru. He comes out of the parry and he catches him. I've got no idea what that was to start for because it was like the first frame of whatever Angry Bird tried to do. And it's so game. significant too, it's double digits on startup, right? That standing heavy kick is 12 frames, so you're getting an extra, extra delay on that <laughs> in case you wanted to press maybe like a medium button. Ooh. It's a really good tool as well, right? Because they use it as a meaty into the target combo uh, after the after the portal set up. Now even if it's blocked, what, plus two? You're, you're totally fine with that. Your turn again, you get another portal coming down. Oh. Just got such fantastic oh, timing on these parries, whether it's a perfect parry or just a parry dealing with pressure. Unbelievable, man. and he's showing completely different looks here with these normals. No, oh, not again. He goes to the well again, and the Kakaru perfect parry is going to be enough level to one? close out with the level one. Doesn't even matter in regards to scaling. Kakaru looking like an entirely different. Beast right now against Angry Bird. Yeah, Chan an animal. Yeah. What does that mean? We're <laughs> <laughs> we gonna set up with the neutral. Sorry, the forward jump at the same time. Oh boy! Cricket bat. The cricket bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the exact same swing. Level three coming in. That drive gauge back. Kakaru on edge, just a little bit close to burnout. What? Can't afford to be predictable. Oh, choice. <laughs> the jump in is there to punish the fireball. He gets to spend a little bit more as well. Level three. Three, level three, you already know. Okay, just in case. I pause just in case he happened to drop yeah. it. There's, <laughs> there's going to be a thing, man. That is Kakaru two rounds straight and two games over Angry Bird. Since we saw him drop the level three in the first set, anything's possible. Right. right? Right. We're not counting any chickens, and there's a lot of chickens to count at the end of this set, let me tell you. Here we go. Set game for Kakaru. Looking to become the Gamers H356 champion out of loser's side. Oh the driving boy. is reacted to from Angry Bird, and we're going to be going towards the corner with this enhanced tattoo. There's again, the, stagger the stagger again, counter hitting him, but the perfect Damn. parry is going to give Kakaru the stage again. EX Paul. Defensive options on the wake up too have been giving Angry Bird a very, very hard time. He's not been able to predict co correctly what it is that Kakaru wants to do, whether it's a perfect parry or the amnesia movement. Very notable as different. well after that held parry that Angry Bird didn't do anything because he's been getting counter hit after uh, these prolonged parries quite frequently. The stat, oh, I gotta say, man, him committing to the target combo for the frame trap was brilliant. Let's get the Goon Squad set up. That's one departure. Set up again. Has to hold that. Oh, oh, and the parry was baited out. And it is set point to Kakaru. And it's looking to be a clean sweep in this grand finals. I cannot believe this turn of events. Not like this. All of the fantasy brackets. Let's see it. Who had Kakaru as taking it down as champ? It's not quite over yet. OD uppercut. Get off of me. Puts this himself in burnout, though. Oh, beautifully oh, done. Oh, we burned. Oh, I don't know what that was. We let it rock here? Okay, I guess so. That's right, it's inevitable something. There is an inevitable death rule, but uh, you know, not even close to that just yet. Dragon Lash, the uppercut. Angry Bird fighting for survival here. And that is it. He has defended the first set point here. One more to go. It's still set point Kakaru. Oh, no, too far out, yo, Kakaru. Just at the right spot, at the right time for the whip punish against the misplaced Dragon Lash. Set up the departure, walk him down a little bit. And yeah, testing his reaction. He still has the parry. Angry Bird is looking to fight his way out of the corner. Step by step, block by block. The drive rush is there, but still, so how is the perfect parry? How does he, he go is to ready. Do it then? He is too ready. That was in the middle of a combo. I can't believe how ready and how good Kakaru is at these parries. So many perfect parries. Unbelievable. A single hit for Kakaru.
could spell the end of Angry Bird. We're getting closer and closer to it. Touch. Oh, and that is it. Kakaru has managed to turn this round and close out the grand finals 3 0. And there is way more than three zeros on his prize. He has claimed the $400,000 for first place look at him sitting back in his chair it hasn't sunk in yet life-changing events here today in Riyadh at the boulevard at gamers 8 kakaroo he can barely walk in a straight line after that draining performance yeah. these two competitors what a fantastic grand finals and kakaroo stands atop he can barely believe it look at this man an emotionally draining experience no physically doubt. draining no doubt. putting his heart and soul into that performance truly deserving of that trophy and how often do you really see that kind of comeback happen from the loser's side right especially playing killer after killer being one of the killers yourselves obviously but also having to face off against the guy that puts you into losers immaculate performance from kakaru And just like that, we officially have our Gamers 8 champion, Carl Gano! <laughs> Kakadu, I've yet to see this expression on your face. I have to start out by asking you, what are you feeling right now after winning the biggest tournament in Street Fighter history as far as prize? エレキシに一番大きいストリートファイターの大会を優勝できるのはどのような気持ちでしょうかいやまだ時間がわからないですねでもあのすごい嬉しいですはいあの、I <笑> have no idea as, as you know so far I have no idea but I'm super happy سألنا كاكرو كيف شعورك بعد ما صرت بطل العالم من الستريت اوف فايتر وفوزك بالجائزه الكبرى قال لكم صراحه ما ادري شلون جالس ما ادري شلون يصير بالضبط وفي نفس الوقت انه هو سعيد جدا بهذا الانجاز. We have never seen someone use the perfect parry to that level ever throughout Street Fighter 6 up to this point. We did not even know that that was possible. The fact that you went with that strategy, I don't even want to call it a strategy, that you had that skill. We have never seen that. Why didn't you do it earlier in the tournament? Were you saving it for grand finals? そのようなプレイスタイルは今までもあの見たことないんですね。何回も何回もいつもあのパーフェクトパーリ完璧にやったんですけれども、今までにそんなことがやらなかったんですが、どうして今できたと思うんですか？本当はその他のことをしてあの
absolutely life-changing money. What are you going to do with it? まあ今あの40万ドルを買ったんですけれども本当にあの命を変わるあのお金だと思うんですけれどもこのお金をどうやって使おうと思いますか？えー、っとまあなんか自分でなんかするってのはちょっと思いつかないんですけどなんかあのまあまずそのお世話になってるいぶし銀僕のチームのいぶし銀に結構そのなんだろう恩返しできたのかなっていうところであとなんかなんかお世話になった人になんかお返しできたらなっていうふうに思います。Well, I have been thinking about it as so yeah, but first of all, I would like to maybe use it somehow to thank my team i b u s h i g i n that really supported me along the way and all the other people like use this money somehow to thank all the people that helped me along、uh, along the way up to this point. لعلك كرة إيش بتسوي بالجائزة الكبرى اللي فيها أربعمائة ألف دولار فعلًا عنده الحين كسبت جائزة مرة كبيرة فقلنا له إيش راح تسوي فيها قال كل صراحة أني أنا ما فكرت وإيش بسوي فيها بالضبط لكن غالبًا راح أساعد فيها من ساعدني حتى برضو لأن حقق هذا على على لأن لأن حقق هذه البطولة ففعلًا كار دعمه ويقول حاب أشكرهم بهذه الجائزة. كاتر من الأشياء اللي أنا أسألك ما هي تجربتك؟ Been like here in Saudi Arabia with all of these fans and just the locals, and what do you have to say to everybody back home in Japan as well that supported you? じゃあまずあのこっちサウジアラビアの経験について聞きたいと思うんですけれども、あのこの一週間はまあどんな時間でしたか？そしてあの日本にあのご覧すまあご覧するファンの皆さんのために一言お願いします。えー、とサウジアラビアすごいいい,い,いところで、あのー、まあ暑いんですけどすごいでもご飯とかあの僕マンゴージュースがすごい好きであの<笑>すごい、あのー、飲んでてす,すごいデーツとかもあの教えてもらったやつとかもすごい美味しくてすごいいい経験になりました日本に帰っ日本の皆さんに、あのー、遅くまで応援ありがとうございました、えー、また、えー、次かカップコンカップに向けて頑張りますんでよろしくお願いします。Well, I really, really like it here. It's an amazing country, Saudi, and、uh, well, it's kind of hot, I have to say, but the food is amazing. <laughs> the food is amazing. I really like the mango juice we had at the hotel. I drink, drank it a lot, and dates also very, very nice.、Um, to all the fans in Japan,、uh, first of all, thank you so much for watching this late at night. And the next, the next thing is Capcom Cup, and I'm going to prepare for it as well. So I count on your ongoing support. كاكيرو بعد الإنجاز الكبير هذا نبغى نعرف شلون 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 كانت تجربته في المملكة العربية السعودية وتواجده معنا قال كل صراحة كان كل شيء مثالي ونجب بصراحة بوجوده هنا برضو معنا ومبسوط بحضوره في البطولة قال بكل صراحة قال إن عاجبه عصير المانجا اللي موجود في بالفندق وفي نفس الوقت التمر جازه مرة ويعني هذا شيء مرة مبسوط عليه ولو إنه يقول الجو حر شوي هنا عندنا في السعودية أكيد طبيعي جاي عندنا هنا في الصحراء لكن لكن مع هذا كله يقول إن كانت تجربة جدا مثالية وبالنسبة لجمهوره اللي شجعونه في اليابان الوقت تماما متأخر عندهم فقال إنه يشكركم على دعمكم وعلى متابعتكم للبطولة على هذا الوقت المتأخر فمن جد يعني الإنجاز الكبير اللي حققه في آخر اللحظات هنا معنا إنجاز تاريخي أعزائنا المشاهدين أعزائنا الحضور تحية أخيرة لبطل جيمر زيت لستيت فايتر كاكيرو At this point, there is only one thing left to do. I would like you to go ahead and take this pin and go over there and sign your name for everybody back at home. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for k a k e r o k a k e r o k a k e r o Kakeru, Kakeru, Kakeru. Kake Kake wants to say it with me. Your Gamers 8 2023 Street Fighter VI champion taking 400k home. Don't know what that is in yen, but I imagine it's very much into the millions. Yeah. Kakeru. Wow. What a r e s p